The Minister for Education and Culture, Myron Walwyn, says the implementation of an additional secondary school year has resulted in the H. Lavity Stout Community College having to accommodate grade 12 students this coming year. The minister said although the situation is not ideal, it is only temporary and the best option for the long term an overall master plan of separating the Elmore Stout High School campus into a junior high and a high school. In a situation the additional year, we realized from the onset that necessary resources had to be deployed to ensure additional classrooms were available at Elmore Stout High School and the Brigada Flash Educational Center. A master plan for the proper development of the Elmore Stout High School has been created that will separate the eight acre campus into a junior high and senior high. Therefore, any resources that we deploy should go towards the realization of that master plan. One of the three options presented to me would have allowed us to be able to have classrooms ready for September, but I rejected that option because I'm of the view that every penny spent on the campus must go towards the realization of the master plan and not just be something to save face. It cannot be about that. It must be about what is in the best interest of the country and what is the best interest of the educational system in the long term. The Education Minister acknowledged the help of officials from the Ministry of Education and Culture, the H. Lavity Stout Community College and Elmore Stout High School in determining what accommodations can and will be made at the HLSCC campus. A team comprising of officials from the Ministry of Education and Culture, H. Lavity Stout Community College and Elmore Stout High School was put together to see what accommodation can be made at the college for students who are in grade 12. A plan was submitted to me as to how HLSCC and the Elmore Stout High School will work together to ensure that grade 12 is properly accommodated at the college and I'm eternally grateful to those officials for their hard work. Minister Walwyn assured the public that their concerns and questions will be met and answered and that the ministry and stakeholders are working to ensure that students will have the right environment to continue with their learning.